Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how you can add an image carousal in your WordPress website using Elementor free version. Yes, so for example, if you have a website like this or any website in your WordPress, then how you can add a simple carousal, maybe you can show your client logos, you can show your partner logos, you can show images or you can show anything in form of images as a carousal automatically. So as you can see here also, it is a carousal here in which I have shown the logos or we can say partner logos of my on my website and it is a scrollable carousal. You can decide whether it is a manual scrollable or auto scroll, right? So for that, you need to select that particular page and click on edit with element. Please make sure that you have an Elementor installed and activated on your WordPress website and you are familiar with it, right? So in order to add a simple carousal inside the free version, all you need to do is first you need to add a section. So whenever you, so wherever you want to place that slider, just click on this plus button just below section in the container, click on that. Now again click on this plus icon, choose the flex box as the layout and choose the first option. Now from here click on the plus icon and from the left side choose carousal, choose carousal. So by default you will see this option in the free version of Elementor. These are the paid versions, right? So if you don't have paid version of Elementor, not a problem. You can do it for the free version. So click on this and drag and drop like this. So once you drag and drop like this, from left side, you can now control the option. So it says edit image carousal. It means you can show images, be it a client logo, be it any other image, be it your you know, team image, any kind of image you can show it. So you need to select the images. So click on add images. So you have three options. Either you can upload the files, choose from media library, or you can choose the free stock images from the WordPress gallery itself. So I have my images. Let's say I want to show my team members. So I have images with me so one two three four five six seven eight so i want to show these eight images in my carousal now click on create a new gallery this is the order if you want to change the order you can just simply drag and drop like this so that the order is changed and once it is done click on insert gallery so once the images are selected by default this will be the look right now you can further customize it so from here, you can choose the image resolution. Currently it is thumbnail. You can choose as full size like this. If you want to show the images in large or if you want to show in a custom size, then you can click on custom and then you can, uh, you know, select your ratio. By default, I will keep it as medium large or you can say large images so that it is on uh, the larger side. Slide to show default. How many slides you want to show at a time? So let's say by default is three. If you want to show four slides at a time, it will be like this. If you want to show more, then you can increase this number. But if you want to show less, let's say two at a time, then you can decrease the number as well. Once you decrease or increase the number, then you might see a white space between the images. So it is your choice if you want to keep images at a distance or just, you know, side by side. So I will choose three images three slides at a time. The next option is slides to scroll. It means by default, how many slides will be scrolled at a time. So right now, if you are seeing right now, one by one images is scrolling, right? So default is one. Let's say you want to change or you want to slide two uh, images at a time. So in one scroll, there will be change of two images like this, right? And if you have limited images, then of course uh, you would prefer one slide at a time to scroll then image stretch do you want to stretch the images yes or no if you do it yes and if your images are small then it will be stretched otherwise no navigation right now you can see there are arrows and there are these dot bars so you can choose either if you want to just keep it arrows or dot, dot or you, you if you don't want to show anything if you don't want to show any navigation thing then you can choose none the next option is link link means if you want to add any custom url or media attach a media file when somebody clicks on this entire carousal please understand the link is not applicable to each and every slide it is on the entire carousal so you can attach any custom url if let's say you want to redirect the user to somewhere else on your wordpress website when somebody clicks on this carousal then you can give the page url or if you want to attach any media then you can do that media so if somebody clicks on that that media will be popped up Lightbox default, lightbox default, it means when somebody clicks on that particular image, then it will be popped up. So by default settings are there. 
caption if you want to show any particular text just below the uh, images then you can choose that for example i want to show the title so whatever the image title have you this will be displayed just below the images and if you want to show the caption then caption will be showed if there are no caption nothing will be shown and if there is a description then you can show the description by default the title should be uh, is a great good practice in my case i want to show the team members carousal so i can show their names and designation Additional option lazy load it means if you are using any cache plugin then until unless somebody scrolls down to this particular section this section will be not will not be loaded and that's how your inter, uh, that's how your page speed will remain same auto play yes automatically this uh, slider will continue pause on hover it means uh, as soon as somebody takes mouse cursor on the slider it will pause until unless the cursor is removed like this and once the cursor is removed from that particular carousal it will start again the scroll like this pause on interaction if somebody clicks on that then also the carousal will also stop the by default autoplay speed is 5000 millisecond that is 5 second if you want to reduce it down just make it let's say 1000 sec 1000 millisecond it means after 1 second the slider will start rotating after 1 second that is the you can speed it up infinite loop it means it will be never ending process so once the images are completed the first image will start again so it will be a continuous loop that is a good practice animation speed is like how quick the animation or how smooth the animation will be you can control that and direction is from right to left or maybe from left to right so in most of the cases from right to left is the general human behavior which is comfortable with the audience once it is done there are other options like style and advance you can uh, you know align vertically you can give spacing right in between the images like this so you can increase the spacing or you can decrease the spacing based on your choice border type if you want to give any border let's say solid border then it will be for every slide outside the border and you can increase and decrease the border width based on your choice again border color if you want to change the border color you can do that like this and if you want to give border radius you can do that so based on your choice based on your need you can do that if you want to show captions then the what is the alignment let's say if you want to show the title left align middle align right align or maybe the justified kind of thing you can also change the text color let's say i want to change it to something blue right like this it is done typography if you want to increase the font of the caption or title then you can do that you can change the font weight right like this so based on your choice you can choose various options inside this carousel once it is done click on update and once the changes are done click on preview and let's see how the carousal looks like it looks amazing because it satisfies the need which we had during the it satisfies the need which we had initially when we started this video so guys that's how you can create a carousal image carousal and you can show anything logos team picture you know partner logos partner integration or any other thing in your wordpress website using this simple feature so guys that's it for this video if you like the video you know the drill you need to like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our site whenever we upload a new video thank you so much i will catch you in the next video